In Project Navigator, I've created all of the constructs and elements, and have created some view files for plans and a building model file. I will use the model to generate the exterior elevation views of the building. Let's review this. On the drawing status bar, the name of the project, file type, and name are listed. Minimizing Project Navigator, I'll switch to a top view. To generate the building elevations from the Tool Palette's Document Group Callouts Palette, I'll click the Exterior Elevation Mark A3 tool. This places an elevation symbol on all four building sides and generates the four elevation views automatically. At the Specify First Corner of Elevation Region prompt, I'll pick above and to the left of the plan. At the Specify Opposite Corner of Elevation Region prompt, I'll pick below and to the right of the plan. In the Place Callout dialog box, at the top, you may pick the Callout Only button to place this simply as symbols, or may create actual views. Views may be created in a new, existing, or the current view file. I want to create a new view drawing. At the bottom of the dialog box, I'll make sure that the boxes are checked for Generate Section Elevation and Place Title Mark. I'll set the plot scale to an eighth of an inch equals one foot zero inches. At the top in the new model space view name area, I'll accept the default names. Picking the new view drawing button in the add section elevation view dialog box on the first page general for the name, I'll enter building elevations. I'll expand the category dropdown and choose the folder I want to create the drawing in which is Section-Elevations. I'll accept the default drawing template file, then click Next. On page 2, Context, I'll pick all four levels under Division Phase 1. This will XREF all of the constructs associated with these levels. I'll click Next. On the third page, Content, I'll deselect all the constructs that are not to be XREFed, including all the building outline, core, and interior fit-out files, all the slabs, spaces, and framing files. I'll click the Finish button. At the Specify Insertion Point for the 2D Elevation Result prompt, being aware that all of the referenced files in this file will be in the new file as well, I'll pick a point above the site boundary. At the Pick a Point to Specify the Spacing and Direction of Elevations prompt, Knowing that the spacing is the distance between the elevation views, I'll pick a short distance to the right. Project Navigator will figure out how wide each elevation is, then use this distance as the space between them. By picking to the left or right, the views will be generated horizontally. If I had picked up or down, they would be generated vertically. After picking the second point, the Generating Elevations box appears, showing the view creation progress. When finished, we'll see that the elevation tags have been placed around the building. These tags have fields for the attributes with question mark values. These question marks will fill in when these views are placed on a sheet file in the Layout tab. On the Views tab in the Section Elevations category, under the Building Elevations file, there are four named model space views. In the Details section at the bottom of the Views tab, there are three tools. The left one is Check-In History. If you check out, then check in, rather than just open a file, then the version Date Modified, Modified By, and Comments will contain information relating previous saved versions of this file. A file that has been checked out will have a visual indicator in Project Navigator. Red check marks denote files checked out by other users, and green ones are for those you have checked out. Changes to a checked out file when saved will not be seen by other users until it is checked back in. You may select two versions of the file in this section, right click, and in the pop up menu, select Visual Compare. This option ensures the differences in geometry between two versions are marked in different colors. If you wish to return to an earlier version of the file, in the Check-in History section, pick it, right-click, and in the pop-up menu,
pick the rollback to this version option. A new file will be added to the version list. File version management is also available for construct, element, and sheet files. In the middle is the detail tool, and in the detail section is information about the file. On the right is the preview tool. Once we open and save the file, we will see images of the overall file as well as each individual model space view. Double click the file's name to open the building elevations file. Now we see the elevation views that were generated and that they are labeled based on the names in the place callout dialog box. So using AutoCAD architecture callouts to generate your building elevations is fairly simple. Keep in mind your elevations will only be as good as your construct files, so you want to invest the effort in drawing those correctly. Doing so, the benefit is that you may automatically generate the elevations, as well as sections. For the view title marks, there are again question marks in the attribute fields. These will fill in when these views are dragged and dropped onto sheet layout tabs. You may also specify the title mark tag to use in the tool palette elevation mark tools properties.